Okay, ready? Yeah. This is going to be real tight. Okay, and go. <clears throat> What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now, in this episode, once again, I got a special co-host, Lauren, from one of my colleagues from medical school. And today, we're going to talk about how to stay motivated in medical school, in college, and in your studies in general. A lot of you guys have been asking, and it's a tough video to make, so I brought the smartest person I could think of, floor sauce. Lauren, how do you stay motivated in medical school? Well, I think staying motivated is key to getting through all the studying that you're going to have to do. But what's important is identifying what keeps you motivated in the first place. So some of you who are under undergrads right now, you have to be involved in some sort of activity, right? You don't just study all the time. So think about what you like to do. All right, make that your goal at the end of the day of studying or at the end of a study session. So if you like to go, for example, like I do, kickboxing, you can plan, all right, I'm going to go to this 4 o'clock kickboxing class. So what does that mean? That means I get all my work done before that class. Okay, you may be thinking, I can't possibly get all that work done. I'm going to skip the class and, you know, spend those two hours that I'd be in class or whatever and study. You're not going to be as productive. I can guarantee it. That's right. What, what are your thoughts on this, Mo? I actually completely agree on this one. Um, and I, and I didn't believe that in the first year of medical school. I was a total, I was making a lot of mistakes. I was studying all day. I didn't take enough breaks. Um, I didn't work out. I didn't have any goals. I just studied 24 seven and that was actually quite counterproductive as opposed to being productive. Uh, so I have daily goals. I have a gorgeous park by the house. You guys have seen a video of it. And I tell myself at four o'clock before it gets dark, I'm gonna go walk for an hour. So I, I push to get work done by four so I can get out, out the door. Or like if it's a workout day, I am pushing to get things done so I can go work out. And even though you may feel like you're spending two hours of your time like not studying, oddly enough, you are more productive once you get back. Exactly. You come back, you're refreshed. So much evidence has been shown that by exercising, Don't bring up I know, articles, I know. Man, that's but lame. It, you know what? It, it, it increases your endorphins, it makes you feel better, and you can be more focused when you come back. That's true. Because we all experience burnout when we're just sitting and studying. Because, let's face it, it's a very passive sort of process. you got to be active, you got to do something. Right. Now, work out, working out might not be your thing. I used to be really into playing the drums. So, if you like music, if you like art, you like dancing, just do what makes you happy and keep that as your goal. Another thing I like to bring up is, Every time Mo and I have a test, I always ask him, so Mo, what are you doing for fun after the test? He hates when I ask that question, but the reason I ask it is because I think it's really important to have something fun planned for after your test. You study so hard, you got to treat yourself for being done. It doesn't matter if you completely blow the test or if you do amazing on the test. You have to have something to look forward to. So I have a different take on that. I think it's important to enjoy the time after the test, but I enjoy having nothing planned. Because if I have something planned after a test, I think about it. And I know that for some reason, it gets in my thinking process. Like, during the exam, I'll be thinking about it. So I can't control myself. So I have to tell myself, I get to do whatever the heck I want to do after the exam. I have complete free time. And normally, I just goof off and have fun. Well, either way, whether you plan it or you don't, just know that you have some non-study time right, after the test. Point. And that'll keep you motivated. Absolutely. That's a good point. So, how, okay, so... That's just general motivation to keep you just from, I guess, dropping out of school. How do you keep yourself motivated in the day-to-day -day when you go home, you're like, I have about 10 hours of work to do, and it's going to be a long day? To be honest, I don't keep track of how much work I have to do by the hours. I just, I make a list of things that I need to get done, and I acknowledge that I will never complete my to-do list, and I have to be okay with that. That's right. And you have to accept that you know, you have limited time in the day, but as long as you're keeping yourself healthy, giving yourself some breaks to stay sane, and getting through the work as well as you can, that's what's most important. It's quality of studying, not quantity. I think you really highlighted three key points that I think we should emphasize again. Take breaks when you're studying. Don't try to be like super machine and just sit there for six hours. You're, you're going to inherently take breaks by kind of wandering off in your mind. Take your breaks. Do things that are fun. And what else do you say? Um, <laughs> oh well. No, oh, that's right. Keep, okay, so what I do to keep myself from getting tired is like you're going to be sitting in the same spot all day. Like you're going to be sitting, you're going to be reading. Try making flashcards. Try like writing on a whiteboard. Try using a standing desk. Just keep mixing it up if you find yourself getting tired. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I think that degree of a little bit of variation from just sitting all day, because I get kind of bored if I'm just sitting and reading all day. I'll start to do other things. Mm -hmm. Just start typing your notes. Just find any excuse to keep yourself working so you don't procrastinate. And then something that's sort of an aside but a bigger picture is think about what you want to do long term. You know, for us being in medical school, we're <laughs> sitting and focusing on, you know, the little nitty gritty details, but when you take a step back and look at the big picture, I think Mo and I are both really excited and really, you know, pumped to get out there and start working with patients oh, yeah. and, you know, doing something a little bit more Doctor engaging <laughs> than just studying. So having those sort of long term perspectives and keeping in mind that you know, it's just one test, it's not the end of the world, and just having a good perspective on life is really important. That's, a, that's an excellent point. Don't get bogged down in the details. Keep yourself focused on the big picture. A point that I think, so since you were here in this video, I think this is a great point to bring up. Lauren's like a nutrition expert. She knows what <laughs> words like kilocalorie mean. I still don't know. Um, so part of staying motivated and focused probably has to do with how you maintain your health and like your nutrition. Yes. I'm going to guess. I'm not yes. a doctor. What do you think, Laura? There is so much that goes into how the foods you eat make you feel. And I could go on about this forever, but one, I, one so thing... I only got a 20 gig. Yeah, I know, I know you have like a short <laughs> amount of time, and I know you guys are probably bored. You're checking Facebook right now already. But this is one thing that I'd recommend. Just eat foods that make you feel good. When you go to In-N-Out Burger, yeah, it feels good for a minute, but do you, can you do anything after you eat that? That's probably good. not. You probably want to go to sleep. Yeah. So think about fueling yourself and feeling better with the foods that you eat. Key thing though is especially do this before a test. When you get to the test, make sure you've eaten breakfast and make sure oh, yeah. it's a healthy breakfast. And if you don't know what a healthy breakfast is, I'm not going to go into it right now, but just Google it. We'll just, just give, like, it just give like one example okay. just in case they don't The best it. breakfast that you could eat before a test would be something that has some protein, a little bit of fat, and some slowly releasing carbohydrates. So that's a whole discussion to go into, but a very sim a simple like sample meal could be an egg white omelet with some salsa and a piece of whole grain toast. You could do oatmeal with some nuts in there and a banana. Just things that are going to keep you full and keep your energy up. The worst thing you could do is have a bagel and cream cheese or have um, a, donut. a donut. Donuts are the absolute worst. So with that being said, there's so much more about nutrition. If you guys are curious about click nutrition, click on the link below. Yeah, we'll have click, another video. Click on the link below. And we'll we'll or, have another video. We'll have another video. All right, guys. Any last words for our viewers on how to stay motivated in med school? Again, just keep doing the things that make you happy. If you don't know what makes you happy right now, then that's okay. Yeah, just it's, find it's really something. Okay. It finds something, but you can't study all the time, and make sure to stay balanced. Good job. All right, thanks, Laura. Thanks for being on this episode. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any questions or comments you have below. Send us a message, and as always, enjoy your studies.